Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. So I am back with another video and this one is a super video. Now you know I have made videos about super before, but I haven't made any about her in a while because really ain't nothing been going on with super. Okay, and besides, when I have to try to go find super T or, or look for super, I can't even go on her page because she blocked me. She blocked me off my regular Instagram page, you know. Um, I ain't even did shit to her. I promise you I ain't did nothing to her, but uh, I've heard other people say that she just blocked folks, and she clearly blocked me. I ain't never even commented on Supa's page before. I just went, and I guess I liked somebody else's comment on her page, and it wasn't even a negative comment, but apparently she didn't like it, and she blocked me. So anyway, but the news over the last couple of days or so is that Supa and Sage the Gemini are apparently an item and everybody is sitting here, just like me, wondering what the hell is going on. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what? Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, but it was kind of a, 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 a surprising, interesting match, if you will. Right. Super has glowed up beautifully. She doing her thing ever since she got, you know, dropped that zero. Lewis, what you going to do, Lewis? How you going to pick up, Lewis? All right. You ain't got no car, Lewis. Y'all may not understand that, but she's just really, really funny. She went on her live like a while ago when they broke up and she was just saying, Lewis, how you going to get her, Lewis? How you going to pick the baby up, Lewis? And that was just funny to me. But nonetheless, um, so a few days ago, Super hopped on a live. Okay, she hopped on her live. She was doing her makeup. And uh, Sage, the Gemini, hopped on too. He got on her live and she was like, you know, she they were flirting with one another. They were flirting, flirting with one another. And he was like, oh, let me take you out. And then he pops up. And the next thing you know, he is standing behind her, which gave me all kinds of publicity stunt tease. Okay, this is what I am guessing. This is just my, you know hypothesis if you will my theory is that this is a publicity stunt now super is known for doing a stunt or two we have seen it okay her and lewis used to get into you think that something was wrong and then all of a sudden she pop up with a a, a sale you know 30 percent off and so she is known for stunts and shows super was also linked to another man prior to this now her and Lewis broke up. Y'all might have seen the, the, the tea. It's, it's kind of old tea now, but apparently Lewis was out here catfishing, uh, you know, got catfished by a, 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 a teenager, if you will. She was a minor child and Super got pretty embarrassed by that. And that's where all the way, how you going to pick up Lewis? You ain't got no car, Lewis. That's how all that came about, right? And then she was dating this other guy. It was, you could tell it was clearly you know, uh, one of them rebound type of relationships, you know, she was seen all on live with him. Cause you know, super, if super going to do anything, super going to go live, super going to go live and show you her life. Right. So when this happened here, I was like, Oh, this is cute. Look at super glowing up with Sage the Gemini. But then I was like, okay, ain't Sage the Gemini the one that allegedly got, I mean, I don't really, I'm, I'm saying allegedly, but the word on the curb is out there that he has an STD. Now, again, I ain't saying that. I ain't saying it. I'm just saying the word on the curb is that he allegedly has an STD. Okay. The H one, right? Oh, wait, shit. It's more than one H. H E, the H E one. Okay. Now, this is why this is giving me publicity stunt realness, if you will. Once again, Super is known for doing a publicity stunt or two, right? And, and then having a sale. Then, like I said, they're on live and all of a sudden he pops up behind her, which means his ass was in her house. Okay, so that means they were seeing each other for a minute. And that's cool. If they really together, that's cool. But... The reason why Super need to be careful, not the fact that, you know, again, she, this would be her third relationship in a year, but it's whatever. People have way more, right? She got a whole lot of money. And ain't nobody really, I don't hear nobody ever say, put that Sage the Gemini on, right? You never hear about him. He's a good looking dude, but you'll never hear shit about him. You know, the only time I even knew who he, who he was or that he existed was the fact that he was with, um... He was with, uh, 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 what's her name? Jordan Sparks. That's the only reason I knew him. 
Now, Jordan Sparks had two, uh, what you kind of like, public relationships. She was with Jason Derulo and she was with Sage the Gemini. I, I believe Jason Derulo, if I'm not mistaken, and, and please correct me, I thought he was the one that said that he had like got all this money from her or something like that. Like he had to get a house and stuff like that. I don't know. Don't correct me. But what I do know about Sage the Gemini is that when he broke up, he and Jordan Sparks broke up, he said that it was a publicity stunt, that they was literally together. They started off as a publicity stunt just to kind of get some some buzz. That's what publicity stunts are, right? And so I went to do a little bit of research just to confirm that because like I said, a lot of people get Jason Derulo and Sage the Gemini mixed up because she did have these two um, public relationships with these guys. It was almost kind of one after the other. She was with uh, Jason Derulo first, and then she was with Sage the Gemini. Now, Jordan Spock's over there living her best life. She's a married woman. She got a, a beautiful kid and everything like that, and she ain't bothering nobody. But unfortunately, I have to kind of bring her up in the context of all of this because this is one of those things where I'm like, super, I hope that y'all both in on this and that this dude ain't out here literally trying to use you because he is known for stunts and shows, okay? And based on what he said about old girl Jordan and how that whole relationship was like that, that's what kind of gives me like, mm, be careful. See, it says, it says Sage called it a publicity stunt and then fought to get her back but to no avail. As you can see, it was 2015 and Jordan had just gotten out of a messy relationship with fellow singer Jason Durillo, then came Sage. Things were great in the beginning, but turned sour a year later when the rapper was caught cheating and Sparks ended the relationship. And as I said, it says Sage called it a publicity stunt. In a phone conversation with his ex fiance Sage says that his relationship with Sparks was forced. Everything was effing horrible, he says during the phone call. That shit was fucking dumb. She got on my nerves. I wanted to stab her. All of, I mean, God damn. He wanted to stab her. Don't get me wrong. She cool. She level-headed, whatever. But she's not no regular person. Everybody on the outside looking in thinks it's hella perfect. All right. And I got this from Double XL Magazine. This is where I pulled um, this part of an article from. And uh, I wanted to play the phone conversation, but I don't want this uh, video to be super, super long. But the point is is that he called it a publicity stunt. He said, Sage also says his management pushed him to post pictures together with Sparks on his Instagram shortly before he was set to drop his album last spring. At one point, he deleted a photo with Sparks from his Instagram, only to be later scolded for doing so by his manager. My manager was like, no, bring it back. How the hell are you going to sell the album? And I'm sitting here like, what you trying to do, Lewis? You trying to sell an album, Lewis? You trying to sell an album, Sage? So what the hell is going on? So is this real or is this a publicity stunt between Supa and Sage? My guess is that it is because, again, ain't nobody checking for Sage. And Supa, is, she's she doing well. She's doing well for herself. Say what you will about Supa. I know that she's not well like. I know she, she, you know... I know a lot of people don't really care for her and her attitude a lot of times, but you can't say that the woman ain't paid and you can't say that that woman ain't got no money. And because of all of that, and she's a very public figure, right? It would be more to his advantage, in my opinion, to date Supa than it would be for Supa to date him. I mean, again, she paid, she got a whole lot of money, all right? Um, ain't nobody checking for Sage and Gemini. Ain't nobody saying go play that Sage. She got the following. She got the audience, right? People pay attention when 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 Super get on here. And now Super on here rubbing on the on the dude's shoulders and shit like that. And, and they looking all look at look, look, look at that. Look 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 at that. Right. Like like he looking real comfortable. So this is giving me publicity stunt tease. I'm just saying. But if it's real, it's it's cool. If it's real, it's cool. It, it is just, but it also kind of, you know, plays to this whole idea of Super can't be by herself. Cause again, she was just she took Lewis back, right? Um, then he got caught, you know, getting catfished by this minor. Then she was with this other dude for a second, right? She was with this dude. They they traveling and shit like that. And now she pop up with Sage and Gemini. You know, she just strikes me as somebody that don't want to be by herself, right? 
So again, do you, Super. If you're having fun, do you. Because um, Lewis is over there looking mighty skinny. He looking he he over there looking like he he ain't getting enough to eat since you 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 dumped him, right? He over there trying to sell them T-shirts that pr people probably not buying or whatever like that. Look at him talking about know your worth and add tax. Well, if that's the case, uh, Lewis, then you owe that lot of woman a lot of money and you in the red, you in the negative, you in the hole. If you talking about know your worth and add tax, okay? This man looked like he ain't ate in a long time since uh Super dropped him, right? And he over there dropping uh, memes talking about it's getting cold, fellas, so keep the peace if you ain't on the least. Child, this is what tells me that he is, Lewis, you ain't winning, Lewis. You doing bad, Lewis. All right. But anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to come out with this because I just think that this is just, I don't know what to think. It's just like Sage, the Gemini, and Super. That just seems so odd. And once again, it has nothing to do with it. Just it's just odd. But be careful, girl, because he be out here. He be out here stunting and cheating and pulling publicity stunts. But again, Super is known for doing it too. So that's why I wanted to say, well, I ain't so I ain't gonna put it all on him because Super is known for pulling a stunt or two. And and that's just the celebrity world today. These folks on social media, they know how to get people talking. They know how to get attention. And it could be I don't know beneficial to both of them. She could help him get more in the, I don't know, in the news because ain't nobody checking for him or, or talking about him. But they talking about him now. The last couple of days, they have talked about Sage Gemini more than they have ever talked about him. But nonetheless, I just want to come to you guys with that. Before I go, I want to go ahead and send a shout out to my girls, Koya and Camila. Thank you, ladies, for blessing my channel. I appreciate it. Know that I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody. You ain't never got to do nothing, but I appreciate when you do. And uh, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, y'all. Bye.